life near and dear to us here at Eyewitness News. Well, this morning we learned our friend and CBS3 family member Trudy Haynes passed away at the age of 95. Trudy Haynes was a trailblazer in the journalism industry and a longtime fixture here at Eyewitness News. She worked at KYW TV for more than 30 years, and today we are celebrating her life. Eyewitness News anchor Janelle Burrell spoke with her recently and has more on the legacy she leaves behind. Do I look it? Do I look like I should be at the auto show right here in Philadelphia at the convention center? Trudy Haynes was the definition of class and grace, and our very own legend here at Eyewitness News. Kind, humble, witty, and known for always being a firecracker. When did you realize you were an example for so many other women coming behind when you? When I found out that a lot of women wanted my job, and I, a lot of women wanted my job. Miss Trudy, as so many of us called her, was the first ever black TV reporter in Philadelphia. In the switchboard at the school administration building. Joining KYW in 1965. What made you decide to take on a part like this? Trudy Haynes was born in New York City in 1926 and graduated from Howard University in Washington, D.C. At Eyewitness News, she hosted several programs during her more than 30 years with the station, including The Trudy Haynes Show, Sunday Magazine, and Sunny Side Up. When you got into this business, what was your goal? Get a job. Just happened to be an exciting and a nice job. And she quickly became a standout, interviewing the likes of Martin Luther King Jr., President Lyndon Johnson, and Muhammad Ali. Trudy Haynes truly made a name for herself despite the racism and sexism she faced as a black woman in the industry. I was scarce. I was scarce at that time. It was challenging, but it was a pleasant challenge. Hey, can you do this? Sure. Give me a chance. Give me that opportunity. Or I just go in and take it. She was a trailblazer, always quick to give advice. You can. And maybe you don't do the best. Maybe you're not first. But you can do it. That's the thing you have to have in your heart. For those who knew her and loved her, it is her spirit that will miss the most. Here she is late last year, 94 years old, full of energy, having a good time. It's how we'll remember her. You've certainly paved the way for so many of us. I appreciate that. That wasn't intentional, but I knew I wanted to do my best. 